Hey guys, it's early morning and and I am taking a walk. Um, just thought I would do a little vlog to show you kind of what I'm up to and maybe just a quick little day in the life, sort of, kind of. Not a typical day, but a day nonetheless. I did have a couple of people request a day in the life video, so it's my early morning um, walk slash yoga routine. So. As you can see I'm dressed pretty comfortably here about to go on my walk and just kind of circle around the community and then go back inside and do some yoga did a little bit of yoga and scripture study on the mat and so um, today I'm just focusing on breathing and uh, starting a brand new week it's Monday morning and before the kids get up I want to pray for my week I noticed that when I actually say a prayer uh, over my week it actually prepares me to be a better teacher, prepares my kids to be the students that they need to be. So um, that's what I'm spending time doing this morning before I start my week. And I actually have not had breakfast yet, so I'm about to go and have something to drink, probably just some lemon water for starters. Um, and then I'll show you an essential oil that I'm going to put on for the morning so I get that permeating throughout the house. Okay guys, so I am about to make my husband and myself a smoothie, a breakfast smoothie for the morning. I know the lighting's really bad in here right now, but whatever, so I think you can see. Um, so I have my Ninja, and I have two of these Ninja cups, one for me, one for him. He's about to head off to work, so I thought I would make us a little um, breakfast smoothie with some almond milk. That's actually all we drink in our family is almond milk. Um, just because the dairy doesn't suit well with us. So I'm going to pour up about half a cup. Normally I would put a half a banana in each of our smoothies, but we have run out of bananas and I am doing some shopping today. I'm actually ordering my groceries through a Hello Envoy and they should be arriving in two hours. And I don't think I put the bananas on the list actually. So, um, so but that's really helpful grocery service because I'll be in the middle of homeschooling and I won't have to go out and go shopping. So that helps. Um, so I have some blueberries and I actually just kind of eyeball it for whatever we feel. So I'm just going to give them maybe a handful of blueberries and um, likewise with the kale. I'm going to give them about a handful of this kale. So with the kale, I take a handful, but see how there's these little hard stems. I like to kind of take those off so we don't have to chew them up. So. I have, yeah, I just separate the stems from the leaf, the leafy green. And so I've got a handful of the kale in there. I've got some blueberries. And um, also we have like a medley. So I'm gonna use the fruit medley, which is basically raspberries, strawberries, and blueberries. So more blueberries. And I'm gonna pour a little bit of that in there. So 
So I'm going to just get a handful so I don't get too many. And I have some beautiful frozen um, blackberries here. I'm going to throw those into the cup at the very top. All right. So those are my greens and my veggies. So now I'm going to, since we don't have banana, I'm going to flavor this with a little bit of the um, banana chocolate vegan powder. So this is a essential shake. It's chocolate flavor. And I can't wait to actually order. Um, my doTERRA company has a shake that has essential oil ingredients and um, it's more of like a weight control type thing. And I can't wait to order that. But right now we have the plant-based Vega and I think I just got this from like baby Whole Foods or something. But yeah, this is really good. So I usually take about a scoop full of this and yeah so you got this banana chocolate powder yummy stuff right and just put that on top it's kind of getting everywhere normally I put this in the bottom it makes more sense to put it at the bottom and then pour the liquids on top but I'll have to just work with it so I'm just gonna pat that down a little bit pat it down pat it down all right and then I'm going to add he likes almost said powder in his. Uh, this is a dietary supplement for weight management, and um, I think it was made formulated in Germany. So it's good for muscle mass and supports digestive and immune system and probiotics and enzymes, all the great stuff in here. But it does give kind of a chalky taste. So I'm going to use just a little bit of this, not much. And. I actually already had one that was open so I'm gonna use the one that's already open because okay, it has a little scooper ready to go so this will give it kind of a chalky taste so I'm gonna do like half of this okay so and I'm gonna go ahead and pour that onto the shake as well and cover all my ingredients and lastly um, stevia because that kind of gives the sweetened taste so one pack of stevia for my husband when I do my shake I'm gonna have two packs of stevia because I like mine to taste rather sweet so I'm gonna open this and just pour it in there okay and put my cap on shake it up a little bit and then we're gonna stick it on to my ninja and I'm gonna start smoothing it up now. All right, so I have to taste this to make sure it's all right. So if it's all right for me, it's all right for him. So let's taste it. I think it's pretty good. Mm. It's good, and like I said, I didn't put too much of this, so it's not that chalky. It's pretty yummy. It would be even better with the banana. But that's okay. It's really, really good because the berries just kind of bring out the flavor. So I'm going to uh, screw the, tap, the top on and hand this to him on his way out the door because he is in a hurry to the office and he's a little bit late. So, because um, the traffic is starting up. So this will be his breakfast and I'm going to go ahead and make one for myself and then I'm going to sit down at the table and do just a little bit of homeschool planning um, and I'll bring you with me over there before the kids wake up. Alright guys, so I didn't get a chance to plan anything this weekend. Normally I like to go to the coffee shop and do my weekly planning for school for the upcoming week and I just didn't get around to doing that this weekend it was crazy busy so it's still pretty early Monday morning and the kids are still asleep um, my oldest will know exactly what to do uh, she just logs in to BYU and gets her coursework done and I will be there to support her when she comes downstairs eventually um, but for my youngest daughter it pretty much have what I need for her morning routine in this morning basket which I showed you guys in another video this beautiful basket that I picked up from Michaels and it fits all of our morning books so I'm pretty confident that I know how our morning will pretty much flow oh by the way I got my my smoothie here it's really really good so I'll leave a recipe for this um, yeah i'll leave a recipe below if you want to take a look or maybe even on my blog so we'll see but i'll get you the recipe if you're looking for this um 
but uh, so what I have I don't have my planner yet I haven't purchased one and I actually wanted to try to be creative this year and make my own um, but until then I just have my handy dandy notebooks so I'm going to write down some goals for the day I've done my prayer I've done my yoga I've done my uh, scripture meditation I've done uh, my walk around outside and yeah so at this point I'm pretty confident that it's gonna be a great week for school um, Normally I get that confidence when I've prayed about it. So um, I'm feeling pretty good about this week. It's also our first week back to our uh, learning group or our co-op. So we're doing that in the middle of the week and it's gonna be kind of an interesting and different week because we are gonna take that middle of the week break and go to our, our co-op. So it'll be a great week. All right guys, so my daughter just woke up and um, had her breakfast and we are about to do hair before we get started with school because I realized that uh, with our co-op starting in two days, it's time to do hair. So we're gonna get started with that first before we get into school. And um, I did get my planning done, so that's good. I've got groceries on the way, it should arrive shortly. And so, yeah, we're just gonna start with hair and then we'll get into school after groceries and all that great stuff. All right, you ready to get your hair done? Yeah. Yeah? How do you think you want your hair? I don't know. Ponytail? Um, braided, braided to the side, braided up, braided or not braided? Maybe like a side ponytail. Side ponytail. All right, you guys hear that? You hear that? I gotta give her a side ponytail. So we'll see how it goes and if I can get it done within half an hour maybe. We'll see. And guys, my groceries just arrived from Trader Joe's so I'm happy about that and uh, about to put these away and then get started on hair for the day. Okay, so we are getting started with school. This is my daughter who is in the 10th grade. She's working on um, BYU, Brigham Young University's online high school uh, portion. Um, and she's logging into her coursework right now. So we can maybe show them a little bit of how your online portal looks once you get logged in. So it's the independent study and she can view her courses to the right and then the, the dates that her assignments are due to the left and let's see, yeah, so the courses she's taking this year are Algebra, so basically Algebra 2, Art Foundations, 10th grade English, 2nd year French, and what was the other one? World History? Yeah. yeah. And then she'll probably end up taking a chemistry class for dual enrollment next semester um, at a local college, probably, but we'll see how that goes. So this is her, uh, what class is this that you're uh, on now? Algebra. That's algebra? Algebra 2. Yeah? Algebra 2. Algebra, oh, okay, this is algebra 2. And usually they give her like a check, a pre-check, right? What's it called? A um, Self-check. Self-check, like a lab? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? So she's doing a soft check and then she'll get into, I guess, her actual coursework. So, yep. So that's what we're doing. That's what she's doing. And I'm over here still working on hair. I'm working on getting her hair done and then we'll move into our lessons also. Hey, All right, guys. So we are in the middle of our homeschooling kind of in the middle of the day and just working on different things here my 10th grader here is working on I believe history. English oh history now she's on history now and my fourth grader over here is reading her American Girl magazine while she's waiting on me to figure out something with the good and the beautiful curriculum which I've been hearing a lot about or down you put nine on top of the five because that's 
your divisor. So here. Mm -hmm. So what I put down here. So then you, oh, your the next, next job is to multiply. Mm -hmm. Nine. So nine times five. Yep. So five times five. So mm -hmm. that's 45. 45. And then your last step is 45. to? Zero. Subtract. Yep. Perfect. Good job. So we are going to try try out a, a, a PDF um, worksheet of the good and the beautiful. So lesson uh, level four and lesson one of the language arts. And we printed this out as free and we just want to see how it flows with what we're thinking we want to do. Because like I said, we hadn't um, decided on our language arts curriculum. So I just want to figure it out, try it out, get our feet wet, and see if it's something we actually want to invest in or not. What does it say? Practice creating what? A spelling ribbon with these words. Measure, continue, influence, certain. Use each word three to four times. Try creating circles, circles, wavy lines, diagonal lines. Diagonal? Diagonal lines, a horseshoe, or any pattern you like. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, get to it. <laughs> so we are now taking our world history test and she's going to be completing that pretty soon. And we've finished up some of our art studies. Now she's fourth grader over here is reading her American Girl magazine. We're about ready to wrap up for the day actually. Hi everyone. So it is the end of our school day. We are officially done. Um, I got around to pretty much most of the things that I wanted to except for some books in our morning basket just because we had a crazy morning um, but I will do another day in the life soon so I kind of get more into the details of how things roll when we actually get around to doing more of the things that I had planned to do um, so that's pretty much it now that we're done with school the kids are each in their bedrooms working on things that they enjoy doing. I have one daughter who's reading a book, another who is uh, designing something in iMovie on her iPad because she's into creating her own videos and will be starting her own YouTube channel pretty soon. And um, yeah, so there'll be both of them with YouTube channels that I have to share with you. Um, and I'm about to head out soon. My husband's about to come home from work. We're gonna, we're gonna go back out together and, and I don't know, maybe grab a bite to eat and head to the library together as a family just because we haven't done that in a while. But um, if he weren't on his way home already, I probably would just get to work and uh, start working on something for a client or just do something <laughs> work related. Uh, that's generally what I do right after school. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of how things have been rolling. And then a little bit later on, um, normally I would start dinner, you know, if we're not going out, I would start dinner, which is pretty much every day. Um, and after that, uh, kind of start unwinding for the day. I have been working on my crochet, so I'll have to show you guys my crochet project in another video that's coming along really well. Um, I've, all, I've used up a whole ball of yarn already so we'll see you know if I need more yarn because I think I'm gonna need more to really finish this project um, but yeah that's that's pretty much my day guys that's that's it so yeah I think that that's uh, that's all I want to show you for now I'm gonna have to say goodbye for the day and catch up with you guys another time but thank you for sticking around for this really long day in the life video and we'll do another day when it's like either more routine or even more exciting all right thanks for watching bye